Hey guys, welcome in special part of Detroit Become Human. We took a survey. Yeah, you've heard right. We took a survey about Androids, technology, if I would consider having a relationship with another Android that looks like a human. Yeah, it's really mind-blowing questions. And after all, at the end, we compare my questions, my results uh, to others uh, in the world. And it would be amazing, I think. So let's just, let's just find out what my result will be. Cyberlife, the company hey. that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Of course, yeah. We should definitely do this, right? Great. So, yeah. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? This is so crazy. That's so cool, guys. Wow. Oh, that would be awesome, I think. Yeah. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Yeah, it depends, uh, but I don't think so. Uh, I, I really don't know, actually, to be honest. Uh, Elon, Elon said that that it is really, really extremely. It could be really extremely dangerous, but I think the greater threat is humankind itself. So I don't think so, guys. I think humans are worse. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, really. Do you think the technology is so... Uh, no. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Oh, that's a really interesting question from you. If you had to live on a deserted island and could one bring... Wow, definitely Detroit become human, right? Or maybe my, my cell phone, pen and paper and console. <laughs> really? Console? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, a book, a cell phone. Uh, okay, let's just go uh, step by step. Uh, a book. It's really good to how you can waste your time and how you can spend your time. Cell phone. It's really good, but without uh, um, electricity and without uh, power bank, it's really useless. I think. Uh, pen and paper. I don't know. I really don't want to write my autobiography. Really console on a deserted island. Really. An instrument. Okay. Instrument like guitar. Let's just maybe go for pen and paper. Right? Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Ooh. Uh, are you asking me? Really? <laughs> of course, yes. Of course, yes. I'm uh, possessed. Uh, by the technology okay what technology do you most anticipate every kind <laughs> uh what technology androids flying cars space tourism uh brain connected devices uh space do you believe really. in god Woo, that's really personal really personal question oh uh, i don't want to answer it <laughs> I don't know guys, it's a really, it's a really hard question and I don't have really simple answer for this, so, wow, uh, let's just go, maybe, I, I don't know, it's really hard. Would you let an android take care of your children? Wow, a really good one, this is a really good one, I love this, I love this! I love this quiz. Uh, I like the I love this survey. It's amazing. Every time when I start this game, something new is is waiting for me. I, I I got a feeling. But I think yeah, I believe I believe in technology. I believe in this. So let's just go with the S. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know really, <laughs> guys. Um. This is this is a really tricky question. I read an answer on that. Okay, I'm looking for an answer for something like 20 hours. That? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Four hours. I definitely more. Definitely if more. If you needed guys. emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Of course, because uh, I think. Machines sometimes, or maybe maybe it's not sometimes. I think uh, it's more often more precise than than humans. So let's just go with yeah. 
Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? What do you think consciousness is? That's the really good question. I, I would say, yeah, I would say, yeah, definitely. Maybe it's happening now, nowadays. Survey results? Are you kidding me? So I can see results from the world and I can compare myself to others? Nice. Okay, let's just... Okay, this is really cool and interesting. Uh, so let's just see... Uh, how the things went with me. Uh, world's answers. Yes, yeah, 60% said yes. Oh, that's so cool! That's really cool! We live in a future, guys. <laughs> this is future, guys. Oh, definitely this is a future. I'm so glad that I chose yes as an answer. Do you think that uh, technology could become a threat to mankind? Yes, no, don't know. And my answer was no. Okay, definitely because uh, it's uh, too much information, too much news about... Uh, that, that technology could become a threat to mankind. And I think, yes, but I think uh, the greater threat, like I said, is uh, mankind itself. So let's just be honest here. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object. Okay, this is really interesting. Let's just see what people chose. Uh, a book, a cell phone. Oh no, an instrument was the first one. I didn't notice it. Okay, here we go. And my pen and paper is someone said a console. What? <laughs> okay, crazy. Dependent on technology. Yes, definitely. Oh my gosh, this is really clear here. 74% said yes. Nowadays, we definitely, all humans are dependent on technology. Definitely. Uh, what technology do you most anticipate? Androids, flying cars, space, tourism, and brain connected devices. I wanted to I wanted to choose brain connected devices because I think it's really cool. Uh, but I decided to go with space tourism because I like space. I like these kind of things, you know. I do believe in God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. 47%. It's so almost half of the people said that they believe in God. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Okay. I thought that would be really different numbers here, but okay. Okay, don't know, definitely. What? I'm sorry. Uh, would you like another? Oh my, yes, no, don't know. Okay, it's like 50 50. Here we go, and eight out of 10. How much time per day? 62% of people spend more than four hours per day on electronic devices. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. No, uh, I really. Don't want to say that's bad, because we live in this life, uh, this stage, uh, and I think it's completely normal to live like this with technology. I think it's our our part and our future, so I don't see something bad here. Uh, if you need emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by machine? And world's answers are seventy yes. Yeah, definitely yes. I think uh, this is not a new or futuristic question or futuristic dogma or something like that because, uh, like I said, it's happening just right now. Uh, we use machines, we use uh, technology to operate and uh, uh, humans and everything like that. So I think this is really something new or futuristic. Okay, here we go. And last one. Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? World's answers are 66% said yes, 17% said no, and 17% don't know. Definitely consciousness. And in my humble opinion, I think uh, we are really, really close uh, to this stage of uh, AI, like ChatGPT or uh, these kind of tools and these kind of newer networks uh, nowadays. And we are really, really close. And it will be interesting to see what's gonna happen. Wow, this survey was really something. And, I, and I'm and i really glad that actually I took it by accident. I really didn't mean to uh, take this survey. I really didn't know about this survey at all. And maybe we will uh, get another survey next time. 
but like I said, please let me know in comments what you think uh, about this survey, about my results, about your results, and if you if you haven't done this survey, just let me know what you think about these kind of questions, your answers, just write me into the comments, I'm, I'm so curious to read that.